Breaking news, a shooting and a death investigation. A neighbor says a woman was shot right in front of her own child, and that child, we're told, was not hurt, then ran to get help. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. The shooting happened at a home on Veilview Court near Roosevelt Nichols Park in Apopka. Eric Sandoval is live near the scene. Eric, what have you learned? Well, you know, we've been talking with investigators. We've also been talking with people who actually knew the couple involved here. They said they've been having problems for a while, and tonight, evidently, it turned very violent. Now, behind me, you can see the scene is wrapping up, but we have some video that we shot earlier this evening, just as this story was breaking around 6 o'clock tonight. Orange County Sheriff's investigators say they got calls from neighbors saying that they heard gunshots here. When they got here, they found a 49-year-old woman shot but still alive laying in the driveway of a home here. And a 53 year old man with what appeared to be a self inflicted gunshot wound laying dead next to her. Now, we spoke with a neighbor who says she knew the couple and she said that they were in the process of breaking up. She had left, moved out, and was coming back to pick up some things. And apparently, he confronted her and uh, shot her. And the six year old son was present and witnessed the shooting. Now, sheriff's investigators tell us that woman was taken as a trauma alert to Orlando Regional Medical Center, where doctors were able to stabilize her, so her condition is okay for right now. Meantime, the medical examiner just left a few moments ago, and again, investigators are down at that house collecting evidence. Now, we're going to continue to track this story overnight. We will bring you any new developments on the morning news. For now, we are live in Apopka tonight. Eric Sandoval, News 6, back to you. All right, Eric, thank you.